Hey everyone, Sam Battersby from Griot's Garage, and today we're going to discuss setting up your Boss foam cannon with our 2200 PSI electric pressure washer. So to start, we have a Boss foam cannon fresh out of the box, no coupler yet installed. Before we install the included coupler plug, we're going to swap out the jet that is gonna optimize foam when used with our 2200 PSI unit. The factory installed jet is a 1.25 millimeter jet that is compatible with most pressure washers above 2500 PSI. It will also work with lower output units. However, to get thicker, more frothy foam, we are going to install our included 1.1 millimeter jet here. So this comes with the cannon in the box simply remove the factory jet with your flathead screwdriver and then take the new jet, drop it in and thread it in snug with the same flathead. So very easy to swap those in and out. You just wanna make sure you don't forget to do that before you've installed your coupler. So we're just gonna tighten that down nice and snug. You don't need it over tight. You don't wanna strip it. And now we can install the coupler plug. So we'll rip open the bag here this is gonna allow you to quick disconnect your pressure or your foam cannon to your pressure washer with another accessory. So the coupler plug comes with pre-installed thread sealant there, so you don't need to use thread tape. Put that in finger tight, and then we will tighten it down snug with our 14 millimeter wrench. There will be a couple of threads exposed, so don't think that you have to sink the threads all the way in there. There will be a couple exposed like you see there. So now this is ready to fill up with concentrate and connect to our 2200 PSI electric pressure washer. So now to move over to the pressure washer. First off, we have a couple of our accessories pre-installed onto the pressure washer gun here. We have our threaded direct adapter, made it up to our pressure washer quick connect coupler. So to do that, you need your threaded direct adapter. Pull that out of the bag and your stainless steel quick disconnect coupler. So this female coupler will mate up to the male plug that we previously installed on the Boss Foam Cannon. So really easy, thread these guys together. You will need two wrenches to get them all the way on. And then you're going to thread it directly into the end of your pressure washer gun, as you see here. This allows you to quick disconnect the foam cannon directly to the gun so that you have a much shorter, more wieldy and ergonomic package for getting the job done on your vehicles. Makes it much nicer than when you have the long lance piece installed and your cannon is you know, front heavy sitting several feet out from the trigger of the gun. Not quite as ergonomic that way. So that's how we have our gun set up. Now I'm gonna show you a couple of my other favorite accessories to use with this system. First off is our best in flow water valve. And you'll see here that it has our water hose uh, stainless steel quick disconnect installed. This makes it really easy. We've got the other end of the garden hose quick disconnect there. Gonna just pop that on, super simple, no threading there. And then you have water control at the pressure washer instead of having to go back to your spigot or your faucet every time you need to turn the water on and off. This makes it really easy to quick disconnect the hose if you need to fill up a second bucket or uh, anything like that, or if you need to reflush the pressure washer, all kinds of uh, conveniences that that provides you there. So once you have that hooked up, you want to make sure your pressure hose is connected to your pressure washer there. And then we will connect the other end of our pressure hose to our gun. Sometimes these O-rings will swell and it can be a little bit tough to thread it in. If that occurs, I like to just dip the end of the hose in your car wash bucket, get a little soapy water on there. That makes it nice and easy to mate those together. So thread that on, it's nice and tight. So now we're ready to cycle water through the pressure washer. We have not yet turned the pressure washer on. It is plugged into the wall but we are gonna turn the water on, make sure that our flow control valve is maxed out for full flow. Now that the water hose is on, we're just gonna run water through the pressure washer and all of the hoses 
to ensure that we've flushed out any air from the pressure washer pump itself or the hoses. So if you get too much air in the pressure washer pump via the hose or air that's already in there, it will tend to prevent the pressure washer from building pressure and it'll constantly run. If your pressure washer isn't shutting off when you let go of the trigger, that likely means that you have too much air in the system and you need to re-bleed it. So simply to do that, simply turn the power button off and allow water to flow through the pressure washer with the pump off until you aren't getting any spitting or air coming out of the gun. So that's a nice steady stream right there. There's no air coming out of there. So we are ready to power the unit on. Go ahead and power it on. You'll see it's a on-demand pump, so it's only gonna turn on when you are depressing the trigger. So now we've got our pressure and it shuts off when it rebuilds. If you're gonna do a pre-rinse, select either your 25 degree or your 15 degree pressure nozzles. Those will also quick disconnect right in there. Do your pressure rinse and then proceed to foaming as needed. Normally we do recommend foaming on dry if possible so that you get your best dwell time. And you can either choose to fill up the reservoir with the concentrate of your choice or utilize any of our foaming system products in their existing 35 ounce bottle. And you can thread that directly on to the secondary threads of the cannon so that you don't have to mix into your reservoir. Select the proper metering tip, use your appropriate concentrate for the process and let the foam fly. For more information on the Boss foaming system or the 2200 PSI electric pressure washer, visit griotsgarage.com. And as always, have fun in your garage.